the objective of the mirror drill is to develop high level kind of rhythm and footwork and just all around uh, sensitivity to sharpen all the senses, sharpen all the biomechanics and the techniques uh, to have very objective and uh, productive sparring rounds and sparring sessions. Now, this is like Lego. As long as you have this format, you can build upon it, you can take it apart, you can add your own flavor to it. It's up to you. But we're going to start with a roundhouse kick. I like the roundhouse kick mirror drill because it's really basic. The first one is just being able to maintain rhythm and depending on the school, some schools like to look uh, down here, uh, but because I have more of a boxing heavy style, I like to use hands too, so I like to get the eyes up here, looking uh, right in the face, in the eyes, or some people are uncomfortable looking in the eyes, then just look past your, or just look in the general face. And so be able to maintain your footwork with them, yang sam, mm -hmm. Without, you see what happened there? So as you were kicking me just now, as boss was kicking me, he looked down or he blinked his eyes, so that's not good because that shows me it's a window of opportunity to attack. So I gotta have my poker face while I'm maintaining my yang, so I'm going with him. You see? And I, I don't miss a beat. Go ahead. I don't miss a beat. See? That's it. You say strong. See? So I just show my opponent I'm strong. Ah, the cup. So beautiful, right? So the poker face right there. Even though he's adding the low kick right there. Didn't skip a beat, no weakness. Okay, so next one is um, also working the different targets. I should be able to land on every target at will while keeping my poker face and make, maintaining the rhythm. So I should be able to go, okay, that inside low kick. Uh-huh. That outside low kick. Uh-huh. I should be able to chop this one. Uh-huh. And slip it into the ribs. Into the rib cage, right? Into the rib cage. Mm -hmm. And then to the lower forearm. Uh-huh. Upper forearm. Uh-huh. And even the thank the mark. Oh wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. I thought you guessed that one. I thought you saw the one coming. Okay, okay. Thank the mark. Okay, so you gotta be able to hit every target while keeping your poker face and your overall rhythm. Now the next one, once you're comfortable with that, is play with the rhythm. I can speed it up into single beats, uh, half beats, quarter beats, and even off rhythm. Decelerate. Okay, let's play around with that. So go single beat. Uh -huh. Half beat. Uh -huh. Quarter beat. Uh -huh. Deceleration off rhythm. thing is once we get warmed up um, a few rounds later start adding mixing it up add combo so now we can add punches to the mix of our combo and so this is the part where I call it read in between the lines because you have to be able to read those combos uh, not only defend against it obviously but position yourself perfectly for the counter attack let's go ahead there you go now I start to add in, uh, sorry, uh, so for the mirror drill, you don't always have to start with a block, especially for uh, a beginner, I'm just going out there, it's nice to build on the rhythm without the blocking first, now we add the blocks for the leg kicks, and so, Uh-huh. 
Okay, so that's um, we now add or go to this, the next round, which is a little bit more freestyle. So I don't have to wait for him anymore. You don't have to wait for me. Now we're really trying to read each other closer to free sparring, but we still have the objective of reading in between the lines. <laughs> thing to get sharper is to maintain your poise, your positioning, and your balance so that you can defend against the counter. It's not just attacking and defend, it's countering the counter and defending against the counter. Hope you have fun with that. This is Boss, <laughs> this is John Fremo, and that's all we got for you today. Thank you. <laughs> 